Hi there library friends, it's Natalie from the Kids Library. We are here at the Lake Shawnee Arboretum and we just finished reading Wangari's Trees of Peace by Jeanette Winner. It's the true story of Wangari Maathi, a woman from Kenya who was responsible for the green belt and replanting many, many, many trees in Kenya. Um, we're going to take a virtual tour here of the Lake Shawnee Arboretum. Do you remember what the word Arboretum means? That's right, it's a tree garden. So, I hope that you and your household get to come visit here in person soon. But in the meantime, let's go see what we can see. Okay friends, let's start with the tree right behind the sign. Do you see it with the pink and purple looking flowers? That is a tree that's native to Kansas. It's called the redbud tree. Let's see what other plants and animals we can find. Earlier I saw some huge frogs. Look at those tulips. Ooh, I hear a bee. I wonder if we'll be able to see it. Here's a closer look at the red bud. Oh, oh, there's the bee. Can you see it? Getting nectar from the flowers. So earlier we talked about um, in the story to look for um, ways that trees help people and animals. And here's an example right here. We've got bees here in the redbud tree and they're getting food. And then those bees are pollinators. So they're gonna help make sure that we have food to eat. It's pretty cool. Let's see what else we can see. It's a beautiful pond here. Look at all those lily pads. And we get to go across a bridge and it's made out of, that's right, wood. So we benefit from trees to build things. There's another example. You hear all the birds singing? Let's come over here. All right, see the yellow tulips? The tree right above that is the one I'm thinking about now. Now, this tree, the way I know what it is, is do you see those blue berries? This evergreen tree is called a juniper tree. And please, 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 no matter how yummy they look, don't eat those berries. They are poisonous to people. Here's a closer look at the uh, tulips. And there's the juniper tree again. And then we're gonna come over here. You see this tree with the long branches that hang down? That one is a willow tree. And there's another willow tree right there. Let's find some more trees to look at. Oh, what's that one with the purpley flowers called again? Do you remember? Yep, it's a redbud tree. Maybe you have one in your yard or you can find one in your neighborhood. Okay. Do you see this tree over here with the larger pink flowers? Get a nice close look at the flowers. Beautiful. This one is called a magnolia tree. Some of my neighbors have these. So interesting. And I don't know the names of all the trees here in the Lake Shawnee Arboretum. But I do have one more that I want to show you and it's a little bit of a walk. So while we walk, you can listen to the birds sing. So the trees make houses for birds. Can you think of other animals that live in the trees? 
squirrels, bats. Anything else? It's a beautiful day. See that white structure in front of us? I believe that is called a pergola. Oh, and take a look at this beautiful brickwork. It's so interesting. Lovely. I'm not sure what this tree here is called with the white flowers. More beautiful, beautiful tulips. Pink and white and kind of a deep purple. Spring is a wonderful time to take a walk through a garden. Here's another tree that I don't know the name of. And I think a lot of people might assume that the way to figure out what kind of tree you're looking at is to look at its leaves. But if I was gonna do some research and find out the name of this tree, I would look at its bark because it has really interesting, distinctive bark. So I would use that information to learn the name of the tree. Do you see all the different colors in the bark? So interesting. It feels rough. Okay, we're almost to that one more tree I wanted to show you. Do you see the robins playing? Flying across. Oh, here's some flowers over here that I know the names of. See these purple flowers with the bumps on them? Those are called uh, purple hyacinth or grape hyacinth. And actually a friend gave me some of their extra to plant in my garden. Or in my yard, actually. Okay, see this tall tree in front of us? This is the other tree that I know the name of, and I'm gonna tell you how I know which kind of tree it is. Obviously, it's an evergreen tree, um, but there's a lot of different kinds. There's pine and spruce and fir and juniper, and most of those have cones, so just because it has cones doesn't mean it's a pine tree. Here's how I know it's a pine tree. Look at the needles. See how they're in pairs? two of them stuck together. That's the way to know it's definitely a pine tree because pine needles come in packages. So I hope you learned something about trees today. I hope that you'll go out in your neighborhood, find some trees and learn their names. Look for some of the trees I showed you. And check out the website. We're going to have more tree fun. We'll see you soon. Bye.